Orange County Public School students started classes Monday virtually, including 15-year-old Savannah Leinbach of Oak Ridge High School. It's definitely different trying to get used to being online compared to being in school. Her mother has medical concerns and the family's choice is an exception to the nearly 500 students enrolled in Elevator Lando, an educational nonprofit organization designed to serve students based on household income, not race. The president says most of their students will be face to face come August 21st. Parents don't have a choice. Like they have to go to work. The jobs they have um, will not allow them to work, work remotely. Some of the biggest obstacles during this pandemic for low income families has been access to food and Wi Fi. Thank God that I have been given, you know, a safe home where I do have Wi Fi and I do have access to food and things like that. But I am definitely concerned with being able to keep my grades up because I'm a very visual learner. Elevate Orlando partners with OCPS as an extra layer of support for families with full time teacher mentors. We will have two teachers assigned to each classroom and then one will be teach virtually and one will teach the students that are in the class. Both will be physically on the campus when it's time to go back. Social and emotional support are also addressed. Savannah says she will eventually go back to school face to face until then. Just make sure that everyone is safe. Make sure that you do what's best for you and your family, not what you know you want to do so that you're with your friends. In Orange County, Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News. Elevator Orlando's president says in the last four years, 100% of their students have graduated from high school with 96% of them either going to college, military or trade school.